Hello everyone, I am Monish Vari, Assistant Professor, School of Commerce in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about Review of Literature. Review of Literature. A, a literature review is a piece of academic writing demonstrating knowledge and understanding of the academic literature on a specific topic placed in context. A literature review also includes a critical evaluation of the material. This is why it is called a literature review rather than a literature report. The next one is sampling. Sampling means selecting the group that you will actually collect data from in your research. For example, if you were researching the opinion of students in your university, you could survey a sample of 100 students. In statistics, sampling allows you to test a hypothesis about the characteristics of a population. The next one is process of selecting a sample. Sampling can be done probability or non-probability technique. Now, if the sampling frame is approximated by the same as the target population, random selection may be used to select, select sample. Then, meaning of random sampling. The random sampling is a sampling technique where each sample has an equal probability of getting selected. Then non-random sampling is a sampling technique where the sample selected will be based on factors such as convenience, judgment and experience of the researcher and not on prob probability. Then sample design. The following steps lead to the determination of the sample design. Determine what the survey population will be. Example students, men aged 20 to 35, newborn babies etc. Choose the most appropriate survey time frame. Define the survey units. Establish the sample size. Example a sample of 100 from a population of 1000. Select a sampling method. Then collection of data. Data collection is a process of gathering and measuring information on variable of interest in an established systematic fashion that enables one to answer started research questions, test hypotheses and evaluate outcomes. Then types of data collection. They are five types. First one is survey and questionnaire. Then second one is interviews. Then third one is observation. Then fourth one is record and document. Then last one is focus groups. Thank you.